welcome to Rina's YouTube channel. In this video, we will be seeing about HTML, its usage, and how we are going to associate different tags in HTML. For, to begin with, let us discuss about the uses of HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to make simple websites for the web. In order to make an HTML document, you will be needing a text editor and a browser. Text editor includes Visual Studio Code, Notepad, and WordPad. In this video, I will be using Visual Studio Code as an example. You can also use Notepad or WordPad as an alternative. In order to install, in order to install Visual Studio Code, as in this video, you need to go to this website right here, code.visualstudio.com. In case you are not able to find this website, I will be linking a I will be linking a URL in the description box below. Going back to Visual Studio Code, let us see how we can create a HTML document. To begin with, you are going to have to insert a folder of your choice in the, uh, in the editor. After doing that, you are going to click this button that appears right over here. It says New File. After clicking on New File, you can write any name of your choice. In this case, I will be using index. After this, an extension is very important. Since we are doing an HTML document, I will be naming it .html. If you are not, you, if you are using an HTML document, you have to either name it .htm or .html. Even if it of any other extensions will not be allowed in a HTML document. After creating this document, what you can do is that you can actually start coding the tags inside the HTML document. The most basic and the first tag everyone starts in HTML with is the actual HTML tag. After in Visual Studio Code, if you write a tag, it automatically closes it. That's one advantage of this amazing editor. After closing this tag, inside the HTML tag, you can write various other tags. Think of the HTML tag as a huge container in which you keep multiple containers to store different types of items. This HTML tag is the main container. Inside this, we will be keeping two containers in this uh, in this example. One container will be the head tag. The head tag contains various things that will not be included inside the actual web page. It will create this. It will include things like the style at style tag. It will also include the title tag. In this example, we will only be showing the usage of title tag. The title tag is something that shows the title of the web page on the actual tab of a browser. In this, we will be naming it as Animal Biography. After this, we will be uh, closing it and then we will start with the next container. Main, see that this is a main container, a huge container. This is half of the huge container and this is the other half of the, another, of the other container. For example, body. Inside this body, we keep a lot of other things. For example, let, let it be anything like an image, a video, a audio file, anything. We keep it inside the body. It is the it is the tag that actually has the white blank space on a browser window. It can also contain CSS in the inline form. But note that you cannot write external or uh, external or embedded CSS inside the body. So to begin with, what we are going to do is that we are going to create a title. For example, we are going to create a H1 title. What H1 is, is that it's a member of a group of six titles, H1 to H6. So in this type of title, the H1 is the biggest title and the H6 is the lowest title. It reduces to a descending form. Since H1 is the biggest title, we will be using it as the main header of the document. So what we are going to write here is that all the animals I like. You can write it in any way you want. You can do it anything. It doesn't need to be an animal biography. It can be a personal autobiography. It can be anything. It can be a book review. It can be a blog. Anything. HTML can be used to many things. So the next thing we will be doing in this example is that we will be inserting a paragraph. Images and other things will be uh, inserted in the upcoming episode. So stay tuned by pressing the subscribe button and also turning the notifications on. After clicking the paragraph tab, uh, we can all we can do is that we can write about some animal. But before we write about some animal, we can write the header or the title of that animal. In order to do this, we can write anything that's not H1 because we already have used that H1. We can use it, but that does not look good in a web page. 
So we can use something a little bit smaller, like H3. After using H3, we can write a, a, a name of an animal, say rabbit. You can now write any content about uh, rabbit. You can say rabbits are cute. They love carrots. There are many species of, uh, of uh, rabbits. After writing this, we can copy paste this and write it for various other animals. For example, we can write pandas. Pandas are cute. They love bamboo. There are many species of panda. Now, after writing a very basic line of code, we can need to execute it. In order to execute it, you go to the file where you have stored the HTML code. In this case, I have stored it on my desktop. In this desktop, all you need to do is that you need to go to the folder where you have stored this. So go to HTML tutorial in this case. In this case, our index file appears over here. Double click on it and it will open it on the default browser of your computer. As you can see, we have the output over here. All the animals I like. Since we have added only two animals over here, it displays only them. Also note that none of these tags are visible on the actual HTML page. That's, that's how it works. It's not what you see is what you get type of language. Now what you need to do is that you need to close all of these tags, check it, verify it. Now let us discuss the next tag in our list, which is the BR tag. The BR tag is used like a line breaker. It leaves space between the two documents. For example, we'll write, we'll put a BR tag right over here. Also note that you don't need to close a BR tag. It's known as an empty tag. Empty tags are those tags that you don't need to close. Whereas these tags which you always need to close are known as the container tags. In BR tag, what it basically does is that it leaves a line between two, uh, between two containers. So now what we need to do is that we have to refresh the page. Also note that every time you do a change to the website, you have to actually refresh the page for the change to come. As you can see that there's a small line over here which separates these two things. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I also hope that you will share this video with your friends so that they will find it useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.